Saturday morning, the Experts program kicks off. That means Luis Alvarez, CEO of the Alvarez Technology Group, joining us right now. Hi, Luis. Hi, Mark. How are you? Doing good. Welcome back home. Thank you. Took a little trip out to Washington, D.C. to speak at a uh, technology conference. I was talking to them about cloud services and uh, how you can move from your on-premise servers and workstations to just a full-on cloud infrastructure, something that we do for our clients quite a bit. So I was invited to speak at this conference, and it was a lot of fun. We've got a story from TechCrunch, something that uh, here's everything Apple announced at the Far Out iPhone event. So let's jump right into that. What's going on with the iPhone, and uh, what was this Far Out iPhone event? Well, this was the time of year where Apple announces all of their new upgrades to all of their existing systems. And we now have the brand spanking new iPhone 14 that's come out or been announced this week. It's, uh, it's available for pre-order, but it won't be out for a few more weeks. But it's just the latest iteration of all things Apple, their new iPhone, as well as their watch and their iPods, which have become really popular, especially with people that are Apple-centric. The new Apple phones are incrementally better than the previous phones. One interesting thing, though, is that the prices hasn't gone up. So that that's what was a surprise. People expected Apple to take advantage of kind of like inflation fatigue that people have and, and the expectation that everything is going up in price and, and raise the price of their phones by at least $100 for each model. But they didn't. They kept the price the same as the previous iPhone. And uh, so if you're into uh, Apple world and you like um, that technology, you now have some options to upgrade to the latest and greatest iPhones. Very cool. So I know the new iPhones, there are four new iPhone 14s. There's the standard iPhone 14, the iPhone 14 Plus, the 14 Pro, and the 14 Pro Max. What's the difference between these four phones? A little bit has to do with performance. So all the phones come in both 6.1 and 6.7. That's the size of the screen. But the Pros run a faster processor. So if you are a heavy user of your iPhone for things beyond just calling and texting and maybe browsing the web, that might benefit you. A lot of people use their iPhones really as almost their business systems. Okay. So um, the, the iPhone is, uh, these Pro models are really what you want to take a look at. All right. And the uh, camera features a 12 megapixel rear camera, which Apple's now calling their main camera. Mm-hmm. And yep. these uh, iPhone 14s are going to start at 800 bucks. The Plus will start at uh, 900 And the pre-orders start, well, they started on uh, yesterday, September 9th. Yep. And they'll ship the phones beginning on the 16th. The uh, Plus phones will ship on the 7th of October. Yeah, and one of the interesting things about uh, this reveal is that they have a new iWatch that they came out with that's built specifically for rugged use, like people that are really athletic. So you can take it scuba diving and long distance running. And uh, another innovation is that the iPhones, when they're not connected to a cellular network, the, through a deal with one of the satellite providers, your phone can actually connect up to a satellite and send um, SOS messages. So there's a, a new ability to, you know, if you're out there in the middle of nowhere and you lose cell service, you can still connect via satellite. And they're going to drop the physical SIM tray in the United States. Yeah. So what's going to replace that? And what does that mean? So, yeah. So, you know, we're used to, when you buy a phone, you get a physical SIM, which is this little card that you insert physically into a slot on the th- on the on the phone, or or even sometimes in the watch. But now what they're doing is they're going to what has become more standard across the world, which is an eSIM, which is a programmable SIM that's hard coded on the phone, but you can uh, program it for any network, any carrier, and you know change that anytime you want to. So it eliminates the need for that physical SIM card. Okay, well that's going to be the new trend. And then this isn't a foldable phone, like. You know, some of the others have come up with. They haven't done that yet with the the iPhone. No, not yet. No. Okay. Well, that'll probably be coming along as well because I've seen that phone and that's a a friend of mine bought one of those and it's a pretty slick thing to see. (laughs) You know, like everybody's looking at it like, wow. Yep. So I've hey, seen them. It's pretty nice. Speaking of um, aftermarket iPhone add-on accessories, I picked up one online the other day that uh, is really a neat little adapter. It goes into the lightning plug on the iPhone, and the back side of it has another lightning plug so you can still charge the phone. But it comes with an RJ45 connector so that you're oh, able... Interesting. Yeah, you're able to run your phone off of a wired network for faster internet connectivity because Typically, your data speed is around 10 megabits up and down, right, Mm -hmm. on most phones. And so I bought one the other day, and I tested it out on a network, and the network's top speed.
speed was 100 megabits, and that's what I got on the phone. It was incredible. And just to make sure that I'd done it right, I disconnected it and went back to the cellular data, and the speed dropped down to 10% of that. So I know the technology works. And, and the best thing about these little adapters, and you can get them through Amazon, they're only 20 bucks. Yeah, super, super. It's funny how some of these like aftermarket things are not that expensive, but they're very nice to have, especially if you need to have the capability of getting you know your device hardwired. And, and Because I have one for my Samsung, which kind of does a similar thing. It, it's not a firewire. It's a, you know more traditional USB, but it lets you connect it up as a uh, you know hardwired device on a network. And sometimes you need that. Right, exactly. All right, that's Luis Alvarez, CEO of the Alvarez Technology Group, joining us today. Online, you'll find them at alvareztg.com, at alvareztg. That is the Twitter handle. Luis, the toll-free number for the I-Team. Give us a call at 866-78-I-Team. That's 866-784-8326. And coming up on Monday, September 12th, we're going to be talking about Ring Nation on TV. What's this about? Yes, a new show that's coming out from Amazon that uses their Ring doorbell systems to capture people, much like America's Funniest Home Videos. We'll see how that works out. All right. We'll talk about that Monday morning starting at 8.30 here on Power Talk Radio. And by the way, you know, today's September 10th. Tomorrow is September 11th, 21st anniversary of the attacks on America, uh, the World Trade Center and the Pentagon and Shanksville, Pennsylvania. So listen, if you have a U.S. flag, fly it tomorrow in recognition of what is known as Patriot Day. Absolutely. Uh, we'll be flying our flags for sure. Thanks so much, Lewis. Enjoy the the weekend and maybe we'll see you out at the festa excellent see you there